this van is just not created for more than one person and one dog so whenever we do consolidate our stuff or some of our stuff it is like very cramped i i genuinely do not know how people do it but it's great for a short amount of time do you have more yeah. work stuff i'll put down here this is such a strange feeling like getting ready to return the first time that i went to this area was i think i i was probably like 20 almost 10 years ago oh and one of my favorite photos ever that i took of aquila is up on this mesa oh there's water running off of that that's kind of cool Let's get in there. Hmm? I'm very happy returning here. <laughs> mm -hmm. I hear you. But it also feels really surreal to be back in this spot because the first time I was here was almost 10 years ago and I feel like I was just a completely different version of myself which is really cool and sad too I used to spend a lot of time up here with my brother Noah and our friend and roommate at the time his name is Nathan and over the last you know however many years I've come back to this spot when I've been visiting or brought people up here that I care about. There's this word that I keep thinking of and I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's swad, swad, saduje or saduje or something. Saduja, saduja. Uh, I can't remember how to pronounce the word, but I think a Brazilian word and we don't have a word for it in English, but it's like a longing and a sadness for past like times or for memories or for people. And when I come back up here, I feel that because the other times in the past years that I've been here have been some of the best years of my life. And I know there are more best years to come, of course. And there's just like a longing to be able to pop back in, in that time and see those people and relive some of those really awesome memories. Hi, sweetie. You want dinner? You want it bad? I know. I'll feed you. Right now. It is 6.30. It's past your dinner time, isn't it? Are you ready for some food? Okay. Okay, let's go eat some dinner. Let's eat some dinner.
Today we're celebrating Akilah's birthday. She turned eight years old. A Happy little bit. Happy birthday, Akilah. <laughs> she turned eight years old just a few, two days ago. But I was in town and doing things. So today is Akilah's birthday day. So she gets to sleep in as long as she wants. Good girl. Babe, I never put the fucking thing up. You didn't put the flu up? <laughs> really? It's literally laying right here. I know, I thought, I could have swore I did it too. I thought you did too. Oh. I forgot to put my flu cap on, so now I have to do that. Oh, wow, it's so beautiful. Do you need help, babe? I think I have time to make coffee. Just a few days ago, I was having a really in-depth conversation with a friend and I shared with them that I finally feel like I am me again. I think there's been a culmination of things that I've been doing for my own health or things that I'm taking advantage of that have really like helped me kind of become more grounded and settled and, and feeling really joyful and grateful and excited about life again. Are you coming to say hi? Oh, how was breakfast? He is the king of getting in front of the camera. Okay, buddy. <laughs> A part of this had to do with the pretty intense like reverse culture shock after a month in Peru. I talked about this a little bit in a previous video. And one of the things that I'm very regimented on that I do for myself and that has helped me kind of get back and, and integrate everything from Peru that I experienced and learned and like has helped me become, you know, my content and joyful and grateful self has been therapy. So I am excited to share and give a big thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. As a person that travels constantly, whether that's in the van or overseas, any sort of routine act in life can be a little bit more difficult. It takes a little bit more energy to do things every week or every other week or every morning. And the fact that I'm able to do my therapy sessions right here, from the bed in my van, from the workspace that I have in the van, wherever I may be parked, it makes it so much easier. BetterHelp is a perfect solution for nomads or full-time travelers because you're able to have your therapy sessions by phone, as a video chat or even messaging, whatever feels the most comfortable for you. And if this feels like the right experience, there's a link in the description below where you can connect with a therapist through BetterHelp.
In fact, Chris recently started using BetterHelp and he has had a wonderful experience and connected really quickly with the therapist that he was matched with. And the process of being matched with a therapist is quite simple. All you need to do is fill out a questionnaire about some of the challenges that you've been going through and what kind of therapist you would like to work with. And then BetterHelp matches you with one of their 30,000 therapists in their network. It can feel really daunting and just sharing my own experience in therapy. I am on my fourth therapist. It took me three different therapists for me to find the one that I really love. I've been seeing her now for over a year. And in that way, it's kind of like dating. You really do have to find the therapist that aligns with who you are and what you want. So I do encourage you to really stick with it because when you find that therapist, it makes all of the difference. And that's one of the beautiful aspects about BetterHelp. You can switch therapists at any time with a click of a button in your settings and at no additional cost. You can join over for 4 million people who've used BetterHelp to start living a happier and healthier life by clicking the link in the description below. And also get 10% off of your first month of BetterHelp. I really wasn't planning on sitting out here for the entire sunrise, but I'm so glad I did. Chris just fed Akila and Kobuk, so I'm gonna give her her first birthday gift. So I've been hiding these. Akila's favorite balls are these orange chuck it balls. She's not allowed to have any other ball because when she was one year old, she swallowed a tennis ball and it got stuck in her intestines. So she's only allowed to have these like rubber, hard, indestructible chuck it balls. And orange is her favorite color. I used to get her blue and then I got her her first orange ball. Oh, she. I got her her first orange one and she went nuts over it. So orange is better than blue. And I bought her four of them, but she only gets one because Akila likes to experiment with her balls. So she'll like drop it in stuff or over stuff like the edge of this cliff. She'll... So I don't know how long this one is gonna last while we're up here, but. I have a birthday present for you. Oh, you're such a good girl. I have a present. Oh. Oh, is it? Good girl. Can you take it very gently? No, gentle. That was so gentle. <laughs> This is Mantanita. There is a lot up here, so I did not harm anything by taking just this little branch. I've been scouting for a really beautiful straight piece of Manzanita. It is a very like crooked, low growing bush, but it's so beautiful. There's a manzanita plant over there actually that's in bloom right now. Oh, some of these are open too. They have the most beautiful little flowers in spring and this really pretty like terracotta red bark. And I learned about manzanita when I first moved here from the Midwest when I was like 20. And since this place is really special to me, I decided to make something that I can use and kind of just take with me. Just gonna be kind of sporadic like that. 
It just started to rain. We just helped some people catch their dog. Of course, it was a husky. <laughs> Luckily, Linnea was there to help because they were just chasing the dog around and it kept running away and it was a husky and they were not catching that dog. Also, she was scared. She was shaking. She was really, she was really anxious. Won't this be so pretty? Oh, that's so cool. Did you just take the bark off and it looks like that? Or is that what no, it actually looks like? That's so cool. It's beautiful. So something that we have been getting um, stuck up on a little bit is our electrical. So I'm really used to just like my system and my needs and Chris is used to his system and his needs. And so when we come together, sometimes we don't do well with <laughs> with well, that because Starlink so I didn't like yeah. I didn't realize until I was out here for this particular trip you can see the sun starting oh my God, the sun is coming out come out right now we've had cloudy weather our laptops and Starlink because I can't really do anything without service I can set the my phone up in the tree over there and it gets two bars his work is like completely he has to be connected online whereas my work I can do it not online like hours and hours of work I don't have to be online like, and I just forget that. I can't do anything right now. Like any of the work I have to do, <laughs> I can't do it unless I have internet. But now that the sun's it stopped raining, the sun's coming out, I might put my phone back in the tree and see if it works. It's as straight as I could make it. I wanted to keep as much of this manzanita bark on. I think when it dries out, it might come off. Um, I will oil it, and I think I'll sand some of this, make it a little bit more uniform. I'll sand this a bit, but I think for now it's good to go. When the sun is out, it's so nice out there, but part of me just wants the wood stove on and to get like cozied up in here. Are you saving that little piece of bread? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Funny that it's just sitting up there. It's gonna dry out. What? Just seeing if that was recording. It is. Do you want to say anything? I can tell Linnea is feeling better because she's getting sassy again. They don't know that I got sick. So I didn't film any of it. Linnea got very sick. I did. I had a pretty intense fever and body aches, some nausea. Still recovering a little bit. Here, do you need toilet paper? Yeah. How is there so little toilet paper left? How much toilet paper do you use to wipe your booty? I don't know. You use too much, I can tell. <laughs> Have a great poop. Were they? Yeah. But there were rocks on it. No, not on that Thermarest one. Are you sure? 100%. <laughs> Why would it be flying around? <laughs> oh man, I got a stored level of, <laughs> of fat coming out at me right now. <laughs> I don't know what to do. It would also feel nice just to cozy up in the van, get a bit more work done. I don't know, cool buck? Well, in less then, no, in a month, I will be heading back to my property. I had hoped to do 
a bit more adventuring this early spring in southern Utah, but it's just kind of hasn't turned out that way, which is totally fine. Um, I have had so much fun taking advantage of the things that I have been able to do. And within this month, I hope to really get like settled on what trees I want to plant. That is what I am most excited about, is planting trees on the lower part of my property for shade, for wind, for another different like microclimate. That is going to be quite the learning process because I know very little about that grow zone and that climate. And I also know nothing, zero, zip, nada, about how to set up irrigation from a well. I also haven't decided yet how I want to uh, disperse my water. I have a lot of learning to do before I get there and when I get there, and I'm really excited for all of it, just to learn it all and work with my hands. The second thing, other than trees, is that I want to get communication going with a pottery studio down there. I don't know if it's a like a pottery studio that you go and visit and like see the gallery and buy things or if it's a pottery studio as in like you can rent space to work there and throw pottery. So I need to figure that out. Having that creative outlet feels like a must now. Those are the two things that I'll be working on in this next month, learning about and getting set up. So that when I get there, I can kind of just roll right into life on the property. And we'll be there and I'll be doing projects until the end of July. And then in July, I have purchased a really amazing, incredible workshop up in Montana. So I'll zip up to Montana for about a week and a half. A lot of learning this year. I bet a lot of learning for the rest of my life. I think I'm going to start the wood stove. I just finished up work for the day and Chris just gave Kobak and Akila two steaks for Akila's birthday. Now I suppose it's dinner time for us. Akila has one more birthday surprise. I really had wanted to do my chicken tacos in the crock pot but we are like only have a little bit of power so crock pot is not the right choice for today. But I am going to do chicken tacos just differently and in the skillet and it'll be fine. Okay, so we have one last treat for Akila and Kobe's because they celebrate their birthdays <laughs> together. <laughs> and full transparency, I had wanted to make Akila a like a meat cake with all these fancy treats on it. I got her um, chicken heads and minnows and lung and all sorts of things. A full bag of these like really good like organ treats, <clears throat> but the day that I got them, I didn't put them up and Chris and I left the van and then she ate all of them. Womp womp. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Akeel. It's not your birthday, Kobe. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Eating it through the bag. Sit. Just give her 
the big one. Happy Akilah's birthday. Kobe's. Take it. I don't think he likes it. He's like, what the hell is that? Go back. <laughs> Kilo knows what to do with it. I don't think Kobuk knows that. what to do with it. You chew it. There we go. I wonder if that's something you can get from Barton as well. Yeah, maybe. Happy birthday, Akila. It just started raining and there was a huge crack of thunder right behind us. This is the coziest night. Although I had really wanted to sleep outside on the on the ridge of the mesa tonight, but that's okay. A thunderstorm is great too. Oh my gosh, it's hailing. Oh my god. That's big hail. Oh, the good times just begun. 